Hi everybody. After about 30 years of ignoring my pond, I decided this was the year to start reclaiming the pond and I, I wanted to use my 1025 and all the implements I had uh, purchased recently. Uh, I started in April and I thought, well, this is going to be a three-year plan, but just six months uh, from April, uh, here in October, here's how it looks. As you can see, the pond banks were really overgrown with brush and weeds, so I cleared all that out and I'll go into detail on the other uh, videos that I made. And it was a good opportunity to purchase a soil pulverizer. I'd always wanted one. I'll show you how I used it in the upcoming uh, videos, and uh, I think the results pretty much speak for themselves. Very happy with it. As you can see there, uh, some of the small brush was the size of your thumb and other small trees may have been the size of your fist. So the backhoe really made quick work of digging that out. And I didn't want to leave it there because I, I want to mow this area and I didn't want to damage my deck. I also had to bring in a compact track hoe to help me dredge the pond out and clear it out of decades of organic material and install a new overflow drain pipe. My upcoming videos will show you how that was all done. I'll also show you how I used uh, this brush that you're seeing in the video now to build a silt fence to hold all that slimy organic material from getting into nearby streams. And it just wouldn't be a project without using the old reliable landscape rake to clear a lot of the brush and uh, overgrown grasses out of there. I also used it to set my seed after I had uh, used a broadcast spreader to plant that. And I'm really happy. I'll show you the grass seed mix I, I used and I'm very happy with the way that's grown up. Here's another example of the organic materials I was speaking about earlier. Small trees and brush. Notice how green the water is. After I removed all that dead material, the water cleared up quite a, quite a bit. You can see that in this video on how much cleaner it is. Here I'm getting ready to seed. Landscape rake and the soil pulverizer work very nice on the banks of the dam. And what a convenient tool to push a large a bunch of debris in that off the top of the dam wall. Now you're looking at the west side of the pond bank. It's very steep. And I used the 1025 to grade out and level the soil. And it didn't take too long, and I found myself stuck. That west bank was. Uh, had a lot of clay in it and it was difficult to work with. Again, the future videos will take you through that whole process. But at the end, it turned out pretty nice. I used the uh, box blade and the backhoe to rough in a, uh, a road around the pond and I cut it on the highest end, the higher end of the pond. That turned out nice too. I don't know if this was a good idea or not, but I put some bentonite around the pond edge in hopes that when the water rose, it would uh, help me seal some leaks. I'll also show you how I use straw mat and how I uh, got into it with a snapping turtle and uh, he won at the end of the day. Unfortunately, as the pond rose about 10 inches, it developed a leak on the dam side. So I pr uh, purchased a product called Soil Flock. I'll go into detail on how I applied it and uh, let you know if it worked or not. So come on back and follow me on that project. And finally, I used a gas-powered uh, water pump to water the new seed and keep everything wet uh, during a very dry August. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. These videos are going to come out very soon, and they're going to be in phases, probably six or seven videos. And I will show you step-by-step step how I did what 
implements we used, and I hope you'll enjoy it. So I will see you next time. So long for now from today in Iowa.